So, do you think someone speeding through your neighborhood is safe or unsafe? I think that it's unsafe. In my opinion, I think it's unsafe as well, but I ask you why. Because speeding, if, if a kid's running across the street, then it's, very, then it's very hard to stop because you're going so fast and they didn't end up, the kid's hurt or dead. So you've seen someone speed through your neighborhood, correct? Yes. Um, does this make you feel safer or unsafe? It makes me feel unsafe because there's a lot of little kids who live on my block and they live across the street from each other. So if they want to come across the street, and you know how you can see a car coming down the street and it doesn't look like it's going that fast, it looks like it's going normal, and they try to run across the street, what if they get hit because they don't know and they look like the car is far away, but the car really isn't that far. And most incidents comes from drunk party teens who want to drive late at night. And sometimes it comes from people just being careless. Like if you trying to put your makeup on while you are driving and you and you're speeding, that's not gonna work. If you try to eat and talk on the phone at the same time, this is why I don't approve, like, people try to use speaker phones and Bluetooth to make it better, but it's not better. It's the same thing as holding the phone to your ear. It's not even a little bit less distraction. You're still being distracted, because what if they say something funny? And you take your hands off the wheel, you can immediate, immediately go into a car crash. What do you think we can do about careless driving? Well, we can try to get a better motive because careless driving is already a crime. Little do people know. It's already a crime. So it's not like we can try to make it a new law. We can like do protests against it, make sure, because kids shouldn't be drinking underage anyway. And some kids that don't got license drive friends' cars, they're not supposed to do that anyway. They're not supposed to speed anyway. You just got to read people their rights and make sure they don't go the wrong way. What can be done in your neighborhood to promote safe driving? Maybe if people would stop texting a lot while driving or on the phone or stop drinking while driving. How do you think this will help? Um, it can help the environment and especially teenagers because a lot of them drink and text or like text while they're on while they're driving a car. So that can help teenagers. What would you do if you see an adult doing the wrong thing while driving? Um, maybe I would tell another adult and that adult will be um Responsible to tell the police or I can contact the police myself. What would you do if you see an adult doing the wrong thing while driving? Well, I will let an adult know that I see around or a security guard or a crossing guard. What would you do if you saw someone drunk and then get in the car? Well, I will try to um, contact an adult to um, try to get the person to not get in the car. It causes any problems or trouble. What would you do if you saw someone drunk and then got in the car? Um, my first, I would never get in the car. Um, I would because I know I can end up killed, and the other person who's driving can also end up killed. Or that person can end up in jail. What can be done in your neighborhood to promote safe driving? What can be
be done in my neighborhood, most safe driving would be a neighborhood watch to um, watch out for people that act strange and look strange and then when they try to get in cars, they can contact 911 and stop them. How do you think it will help? The way it will help is it will stop car accidents and people from getting hurt.